blackberry, and that's what all of this is. It was in flower just a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, all those little white flowers are now brown and shriveled. But uh, this is a relative of the blueberry, and it will make little black blueberries. They're not tasty. They won't hurt you, but they're not very sweet, and they're not very juicy. But evidently, there's of some value to wildlife. Uh, and they spread it all around. It's very, very tolerant of drought, and so it's able to grow quite well here on the mountain. It's a difficult place to eke out a living, and it, it kind of shows in how crooked they are, but the, uh, the bark is a great place for lichens. We've got some lichen, of course, growing right here on the rock, everywhere where it's not being overgrown by this moss. But see all this gray-green is uh, the lichen called Xanthoparmelia. But there's also this gray crust. I'm not sure what to call it, but it's alive. And uh, most of the black, st what looks like a stain, is also alive, also uh, a lichen. Um, and lichen is a combination of Lichen is a combination and... of a fungus. Mm -hmm. and a totally unrelated organism that can make food from sunlight, usually an alga, sometimes a cyanobacterium. And some lichens actually have both, three different unrelated organisms going together. But lichens don't compete very well with higher plants, and so they're mostly going to be found in situations that are too extreme for flowering plants to grow. So. There's no soil here to speak of. If there is any soil, then some plant is going to grow in it. So, bare rock is a good place for lichens and mosses, and so is tree bark, or shrub bark in the case of this. So these sparkleberries are characteristically covered with lichens. So, it's a difficult existence.